Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I've got a pair of announcements for you today that make up for this being kind of a crap year. Put your hands up if this has been kind of a crap year for you. Now put your hands down, you look silly, I can't see you anyways, this is a YouTube video, but you get where I'm coming from. We lost a lot of things this year, and one of the really minor things, but annoying nonetheless, is GDC was cancelled. And I've got a pair of announcements today that might soften the blow there. We're starting to get slowly back to normal if we're a little bit more online than we used to be. And the first thing we've got is Unreal Fest Online was announced. This is going to be on Tuesday, July the 14th. 2020, so in about a month's time, a month and three days' time, uh, they're going to be doing Unreal Fest online. I got a feeling a lot of this would be the stuff that would have made GDC but didn't. Uh, and of course, Unreal Engine have their Unreal Engine 5 announcement they made a couple of weeks back. So there is a lot to talk about. So coming to you from the comfort of your home on Tuesday, July the 14th, Unreal Fest online is a free, bold, Free, we all like that word, free, one day virtual event that brings together Unreal Engine, uh, sorry, Unreal Fest and Unreal Academy to offer an exciting and informative program of sessions that is open to everyone. And once again, I get to use the word free. We like free. Uh, Unreal Engines can choose between five content tracks, architecture, automotive, games, films, TV, and live events, plus cross-industry, with a choice of sessions for each time slot in each track. With o There are over 50 sessions in total, and each session includes a live Q&A. Uh, creators across all industries are invited to come together to hear the latest Unreal Engine development, including more on what's coming in Unreal Engine 5, learn new techniques and skills, watch inspirational speakers from companies like Audi, 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 what are you, Audi or an Audi person? I think Audi. Uh, anyways, um, from Audi, Con Pedersen, Fox Associates, Rocksteady Studios, and Zero Density reveal how they use Unreal Engine in their projects. Uh, whether you're a game developer, architect, engineer, designer, artist, producer, or cinematographer, if you create with Unreal Engine or are thinking about getting started, Unreal Fest Online is for you. Now, obviously, with my channel, we're mostly interested in this category right here. Now, the cool thing is, it's one day, all in parallel, so you can really... Uh, pick which one you want. If you happen to be a little bored with what they've got, this obviously would be relevant, but even when you get into the film stuff or the architecture and automotive stuff, there's going to be some relevance for you. So you see they've got various different tracks. So you've got a whole day of schedule for each track. We're going to switch over to the games track, obviously, because I think that's what people are going to find most interesting. Um, so from 8 to 1, we've got Unreal Engine for next-gen games, optimizing and building AAA UI in Unreal Motion Graphics, your UMG UI designer, harnessing the Unreal Engine uh, automation framework for performance measurements. Uh, then we've got uh, also, so we've got a pair of tracks to choose from here, it looks like although these are 45-minute offset. A deep dive into cross-platform build farm, uh, porting the sinking city to the Nintendo Switch, and technical animation challenges on mobile titles. And then we got a 15-minute break, people. After that, we go back to 940, sorry, 945 to 245. I have no idea how these tracks work. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we've got the evolution of real-time VFX with Unreal Engine's Niagara. Uh, we got Make It Fast, Simultaneous AI Actions in Gears Tactics, um, CICD Infrastructure for Efficient Mobile Game Development, Crash Course in Audio, um, in Digital Audio, Getting the Best Out of Gameplay Ability Systems in Unreal Engine, Speeding Up Game Logic in Unreal Engine, Building Worlds in Fortnite with Unreal Engine, Developing AI in Racing Games Using re uh, Reinforcement Learning, and uh, Capturing the Reality of Space with ray tracing and deliver us the moon so that's the game track there's a ton of content there but also cross industry track is probably equally relevant for you because you've got things here like uh, quixel mixer workflow with uh, mega scans in the virtual world how to use blender with unreal engine i think that's probably the one that i'm most interested in because they're working on this whole tool suite of blender tools that i'm kind of excited to see come and hopefully they get released as part of this and then we've got diving into niagara uh, collect, analyze, visualize your data with Unreal Insights, exploring the depths of new sky and atmosphere system, uh, building advanced effects in Niagara with Unreal Engine, building natural environments in Unreal Engine, and applying for an Epic Mega Grant, make your submission stand out. If you don't know Epic Mega Grants, well, first off, you haven't been following this channel because we've covered all kinds of Epic Mega Grants, but it's basically a $100 million giveaway. So if you're developing something using Unreal Engine or in the uh, open source community, uh, that could be relevant to you. And that is just the two of the sessions. Uh, we go over here to architecture, and it's going to be a little bit more, well, I guess architecturally oriented, but you might find something relevant there. But I have a feeling between the games track and the cross-industry track, you're going to actually have some trouble 
figuring out exactly how you want to spend your day if you are, in fact, going to do Unreal Fest. Uh, so Unreal Fest is definitely looking interesting. And the good news is they are going to be putting this stuff up on uh, YouTube after the fact. So if you do miss a channel, the video is going to eventually be made available. I'm just not sure uh, what the eventual is. So you can sign up for it to get in. Um, yeah, that's about it. So once again, it is completely free. So now we're going to transition a little bit off of the word free. And this has actually been out for a few weeks, but I couldn't really justify a whole video on it. But I can piggyback another video, no problem. And that is GDC, the Game Developer Conference, are doing summer all-digital event from August 4th through the 6th. Uh, this is basically going to be, we, we got some of the announcements things coming in here, like King's new method of balancing Master 3 games, uh, learn how Mortal Kombat 11 uses let it, let it motive uh, to define characters at GDC Summer, uh, Astroneer's big crafting overhaul, and so on. So we got a lot of um, basically community um contributed stuff so that are coming in here. If you are interested in that, we've got things like uh, a bit of an overview of what's going on. So it's three days of learning between design, programming, business, and marketing, uh, production team management, advocacy, um, career and studio development, audio, visual arts, and so on. Uh, so basically, it is an online version of the GDC that didn't happen. Now, this one, though, isn't free. So we're going to go. I don't know if the register has the pricing here. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to go back to. Come on. There's, their website's very slow, too. All right, one more. Come on, you can do it. All right, there we go. So prices and passes, or passes and prices, if I go with that a little bit less dyslexic. All right, here we go. So the prices are going to be for the digital. Uh, review GDC Pass, register by June 17th and save up to 50%. Uh, so that is six more days from now. Uh, so conference pass is 300 bucks. A discovery pass is $99. A student pass is $49. And a community pass is free. So you see, obviously, the differences here. The $300 pass gets you all the sessions and access to the vault. The vault is actually pretty awesome. It's a huge archive of all of their videos. They, they eventually release a lot of them for free, but if you want access to everything, um, you, you can get them there. Uh, sponsor showcase and sponsored content resource materials are what you get. So Discovery Pass seems like kind of a crap deal, but we keep going. Uh, let's see what you're getting here. Uh, Indie Showcase, Meetings Network Programming, Student Channel Programming. Yeah, so really what you're going to want out of everything is this pass right here. It's the conference sessions and potentially the vault. And those are the two things that are locked behind the highest paywall. So you're looking at $300 for a conference pass to a digital GDC this year. Now do keep in mind, normally real world GDC costs about $2,500 for a pass uh, with certain deals available. And of course, hotel and all the rest of the stuff. So uh, it's, it's a much cheaper GDC and you do get vault access uh, at that $300 tier. Again, that price is going to go up as of June 17th. So if you're interested in GDC, it is going online this summer between August 4th and 6th. But there is, of course, as you see, a price tag. And the Community Pass is going to get you access to the Community Channel Programming. Uh, no idea what that's actually going to be. Uh, but that is that. So those are the two announcements today. If you come back here, you can actually dig in and you can get a more... Um, uh, let's see it. I'm not actually sure if the sessions are shown yet, but you can get definitely more details of what's available. Uh, so yeah, it does look like they have the sessions all listed. So you can get an idea of the kind of uh, sessions that are ultimately being uh, presented here. There, there generally are a ton. A lot of people, variety of different roles, Remedy, King, Super Scale, Cappy Games, and so on. Um, even Netflix, oddly enough. Uh, so you, you've got a lot of industry specialists coming out and giving these conference speeches. You can see the type of pass that is ultimately required to get things. And you're going to notice here, conference pass, conference pass, conference pass, conference pass, conference pass, conference pass, conference pass. So there is a common theme here. But if you do want an idea of what all is involved, I will link uh, some details to the GDC website so you can learn more about GDC the summer this year. Uh, again, that is August the 4th through 6th. And then, of course, we have Unreal Fest Online, which is going to be July the 14th, single day, uh, with the multiple different tracks going on all at once, probably, again, the general track or the overlap track and the game development track is the one that the majority of you folks are going to be interested in. But uh, there is a lot here. And again, this one is completely free. So uh, I would definitely, if you are interested in Unreal Engine development, I would sign up for that one, uh, get in to see that. I will definitely be attending this. I have a feeling some news will drop along with this. I'm really hoping 
to go with that one Blender session they were talking about there, this one right here. I'm hoping that's also when they release the tools for Blender. They've been kind of teasing at them on their YouTube channel for a while. And I think that set of tools will definitely be a bit of a game uh, changer for sure. So anyways, that is the Unreal Fest and GDC both coming this summer. One for free, one for a little bit less free. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be attending either of them? Or is there anything else coming up this summer virtually or otherwise that you think people will be interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.